now inside the Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited 2019. Got your fob, press down your brake, and then the start button. You're welcome to Grand Cherokee and ice cold air. You got your cluster, which is uh, highly customizable. Screen setup, press OK. You can control what is displayed on your screen. Upper left, you can change to compass, outside temperature, time, range of gas range, available miles per gallon, depending on where you're driving, current miles per gallon, various trips, or nothing. Come back, you can change the upper left, your defaults, you show your current gear, on. Favorites menu. I'm still learning how this thing works. It's awesome. Audio controls. You can have your text messages. Which I wouldn't advise, but it's possible. You've got your very beautiful illumination. Here in the steering wheel, you've got your control for the dash, I mean, your control for the screen in front of you. You've got your Bluetooth hands-free voice controls, hang up and dial option. Over here you've got your cruise control. Here in the door you've got obviously your unlock, lock, windows, mirror control. Here on the side is your power seat presets controls. So you with two presets for your power seats and driver. Here you have your 8.4 inch Uconnect screen. It, it what's referred to as infotainment system, which well, I don't I don't know who came up with that, but whatever. Uh, you've got your standard manual controls for your stereo and your climate control, or it can all be done from the system. You've got your media control, which you've got your serious control, your phone control. Down here you've got your 12 volt adapter, two USB ports, and an auxiliary input. Here you've got controls for sport mode, eco mode, uh, traction control on off. Here you've got the four-wheel drive system, four-wheel drive low, the hill descent assist, and you've got settings for automatic, sand, snow, mud, and rock settings. And you've also got neutral to, that will open up your transfer case if you guys are hauling something. I don't fully understand that yet, but that's you know that's a, a non sequitur for you guys, so it doesn't matter. You've got premium leather throughout. This does have a sunroof. We'll check it out real quick. Thing goes up to de deflect the wind and bugs and any other various things that can happen when you're going down the highway. Close it. It also has a vent setting that just raises the sunroof a little bit. You've got your universal garage door opener. You've got your, obviously your map lights and your control for the rear power gate. Sorry, I wasn't trying to flip you guys off. 